Steve Watkins, and you're running cycle yes. maintenance. I, I, work, I work for Bronte part time. So oh, right. I run a maintenance scheme. Yeah. We run other things that are allied to cycling. But this maintenance yeah. thing that we're running now, yeah. we run about one a month. Um, typically oh, yeah. eight to nine people, mm -hmm. and a very, very wide mix of people that come. Yeah. So we've got. You know, you look at this group here, yeah. and we've got some people who've only just started cycling and actually haven't really seen a bike before. Mm -hmm. We've got other people who've done 100 mile rides, charity rides, yes. Paris. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, big mixture. Mm -hmm. And what we try and do is, right at the beginning, we try and get an idea of what everybody wants to do. Okay. What they want from the end of the course. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's not going to be a sitting down exercise, guys, because um, you won't be able to see what I'm doing if you, if you don't. Well, my wife will shift your butts. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of take this, we're going to look in at the rear gears, and we're going to take this from um, the guys who put, we're going to put a new cable in it. Okay? Um, so we'll have the cable off in a minute. But before that, for those of you who are not quite sure how gears work and what all this gubbins does, I want to go through that with you and explain how it works. You need to be around this end so you can see this bit here. It's on the It's new. Oh, it's all brand new. It all went on yesterday. Mind you, oh. I have seen second-hand, well-used bikes like this. Wow. I do know a lady. It would be a lady. <laughs> yes, it would. Sorry. <laughs> Cotton buds. <laughs> it's true. Get off! Get off, you women! Life's too short. She's very yeah. Look at Lindsay's bike. If you're cleaning it, you're not riding it. That's right. Okay, but let's just um, go through how these work. These are called derailleur gears. That's the name of them. It's a French word. It means they derail the chain. So this chain that's running on this cog at the moment, which is the one, two, three, fourth cog up is in fourth gear. This is gear one, this is gear two, this is, no it's not, this is gear one, this is gear two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Don't worry about that at the moment. I just want to show you what happens when you change gear. So watch this chain as we change gear. Ouch. It's gone on to the next cog up, the bigger cog, and it's gone on to a bigger cog, and it's gone on to a bigger cog, and it's gone right up to this huge great cog there. And when you go the other way, it drops down, one, two, and that's how the gears work. So once you actually see them work, jumped a little bit. Didn't it? It's really easy. Yeah. You just you're just derailing the chain from one cog to another, right. and obviously a little cog has a different effect on your pedaling to a big cog. Mm -hmm. This big cog is the one where your legs spin round really fast and you're going up a hill. This little cog is where you get go, and you're doing 150 miles an hour. <laughs> You know, Wiggins hasn't got a chance when you're in that one. Okay, now, so you can see that what is happening, again, if we go through this again, forget watching this now, watch this mechanism here, and you'll see it moving in and out. So, see? This piece here is going across and coming back. Why is that here? Because oh, that because is the bit that you're going higher up on your gear. It's dragging, it's dragging the chain onto another cog. Right. That's how the chain knows to change cogs. By this little wheel here, ah, right. pulling it into the position it okay. needs to be. Okay, you can watch it. Okay, so th this little wheel here is the wheel that guides the chain onto the cog it wants to be on. Right. This little wheel here has nothing to do with that at all. This little wheel tensions the chain. See? It's a springy thing. Oh, yeah. And it tensions the chain. So, if you think about it, if you've got the chain going around a little cog at the back and you didn't have any of this mechanism, would the same chain go around the big cog? No. Wouldn't, no, would it? No. Wouldn't be long enough, would yeah. it? So you've got to have a chain that's long enough to do yeah. this. It's got to be long enough to do this. Right? But then, if you moved it onto there, it'd go all floppy, wouldn't it? Yeah. So the job of this is to take up the flop. Right. Yeah. Now watch this bit as we change gear, and you'll see it move back and take up the flop. It takes up all the flop. 
It's a flop taper rubber. I think it's got another term actually. I think it's called a tension pulley, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> flop taper rubber will be good. Oh. Okay. Tony could do with some lessons on it. He could, couldn't he? He could, yeah. Um, but that's what it does. So if this oh. is the flop taper upper. We invented that word today. We've done a lot today. <laughs> if we look at what's happening to this chain at the top, what do you think that's how do you think that's feeling? Is that floppy or is it under tension? Okay. Under tension it is under tension. So when you go to change from your smallest cog on the front here to your biggest cog, that's that's why it's not as easy. It doesn't have um, <coughs> A flop taker up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is under tension. So if you are trying to get up a hill and you think, oh my goodness, I need to be in number three at the front. One. One at the front. It's going to take some effort to do we that. We do this all the time. We get a number. <laughs> yes. How the hell? Are we